Hello everybody, this is Andy again. Today I wanted to walk you through the process of taking uh, a, a MIDI track in Ableton and converting that to musical notation software. So I have here uh, an acoustic version of the song Your Love Never Fails and you can listen. I've got uh, several string and wood instruments in there. Okay, so, um, but this Sunday, rather than having uh, our normal band, we're going to have a cello, a clarinet, and a viola playing, and so I want them to play these parts rather than having backing tracks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these clips, and the first thing I'm going to do is consolidate them, uh, and so you can highlight from the beginning to the end here uh, the clip, and you can see under the edit menu is con consolidate which will just turn this into one continuous track, or you can also hit um, the option J, or not option, but uh, open Apple. So we'll do that here. We'll highlight all these, convert them into uh, one track, and then you'll want to make sure that these are quantized. If you haven't used the quantize feature before, it's really awesome. Uh, all your quantize settings were, were set to an eighth note here which is the, the smallest subdivision that we that I use when writing it. Um, and so we'll make sure that we're all quantized. And then I'm going to take this track and go up to Export MIDI Clip under the File menu. And that'll give me a chance to, um, to, to place it where I want to. I'm going to put this underneath uh, my stems track and it looks like I haven't made a folder for it yet so we'll put your love never fails and we'll we'll put another folder called MIDI and this bass is going to be what our cello plays so we'll put that there and this will be our um, lead one is going to be our uh, viola part, so export, and then this will be viola, and then this is going to be our clarinet. Okay, so you can see that these are exporting just as MIDI files, uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the software MuseScore, which is a, a free notation, it's an open source notation software similar to like a Finale, and I'm going to open those files. So I'm going to go here into uh, my worship project, my stems, your love never fails, and here's where I put all the MIDI. We'll start with the cello. So you see how it brought this in here. Uh, and you can adjust the max quantization. Let's do eighth note here. That should be fine. I don't see any um, 16th notes in there. Uh, but what you'll see is it's just one line. Uh, and so what I'll, I've already done is I've made a new version of a song that I can just paste into. So I'm going to take from the beginning and go to the end. Select here. Oops. Okay, so I've got all that selected. I'm going to copy that into uh, right at the beginning here. And you see we're an octave up. And so we'll want to make sure that this goes down into the range that we're wanting it. And the song is going to start on an E because we're doing this in G. Uh, it starts an E minor chord. You can kind of check and see if that's in the range of your instrument where you want it. Maybe it's a little high um, in some parts, but I'll go through and make sure if we're getting beyond uh, the range of the instrument that I can bring it down. So then I'll go through and do the same thing with the other um, with the other tracks. I'll open up a clarinet and find at the beginning of that. Starts right here.
Okay. Copy those in, and I have this set for. Um, I have it set for a concert pitch, so we can see it based on that, and see if we want to bring it down or bring it up. So, we'll maybe bring it down initially and see where that gets to. That's a little low in a clarinet range. So I'll look and, and check the octaves as well. And then let's do our last one. Our viola. Okay. And here is our viola part. And that's definitely too high. Okay, so now I've got the notation all the way done here. I can hear it. So that gives you a simple uh, step at how you can take uh, Ableton Live and MIDI information and convert it to uh, MIDI tracks and import that into new notation software. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.